So, welcome to a new episode of, of Everlasting Summer. For some reason, today I record like 5 episodes. This is like... Uh, no, this is uh, the 5th or the 4th episode? Yeah, this is the 5th episode. Because so many things happened today and if I didn't take the time I don't have anything to do to make a new episode, I would do nothing at all. So, last episode was very, very good one. So many things happened. There are this new guy who we don't know his name yet, just mysterious pioneer. I think he is like another Simeon. And he is in this loop like forever. Like every time it's over and over and over again. And he have no idea how to end this loop. It's like uh, this uh, famous eight episode of uh, Haruhi or uh, Steingate or uh, Groundhog Days uh, or Undertale too. There are a few uh, stories like that. So yes, I blame over the normal times because I want just to see what will go on. Of course, this is will not matter for you because every day new episode. I hope so. The bright sunlight was striking my eye even through my eye light. I stretched out lazy and quickly got myself out of the bed. It was 2 p.m. 2 p.m. So, oh yeah, ignore us to let us sleep. Looked like yesterday really finished me off and my body required much more time to recover than usual. I had a stroll around the room thinking of what I should do today. Obviously, my life in the camp will never be the same again after everything that I had uh, I heard from that stranger pioneer. And if everything just as he said, I have plenty of time ahead. I grabbed my Higgin kit and went outside. I managed to take only a couple of steps as somebody ran to my back. I turned around and saw Alicia. Hey, be careful. Hey, uh... <coughs> hey, be careful. I said she in there uh, in differently and ran off in her way. Oh, she didn't say anything to us. She had some kind of bag in her hand. Oh, whatever, just another day in this crazy place. I finished brushing my teeth and then spent an entirely washing my face with the ice cold water to bring myself to many sense and refresh my head at last a bit. I felt a bit better after that. Suddenly, hope struck me from everywhere. It wasn't hope that I'd be likely to leave this place safely, rather just I didn't want to believe that everything as bad as the guy told me. Good morning. I heard a faint voice coming from the woods. Someone stood behind the tree. Morning. Are you ready? Ready for what? I look again and it seemed that it was the pioneer from the bus stop yesterday. Indeed, I was preparing for such a weirdness today, so I wasn't really surprised and start the conversation quite clear head. You didn't believe him, didn't you? What are you talking about? Everything that he said. Alright, but what is your opinion on what, he, what happened? I already distanced myself from the outside world and decided to treat everything happened to me just like fictional film, not reality. Hopefully it will give me more room to move around in terms of situation logic and otherwise. There is an exit. There has to be. What if not? He said exactly. I don't know, but I'd like to believe that too. If he... If you just... Simeon? Simeon! I... Sylvia? I suspicious in you now. You came here in this timing? Are you the villain? What are you talking about? You are the villain. No, I'm not. You are the villain. Ah! Uh, I turn around. Sylvia was uh, standing right next to me. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. Just talking to myself. 
I hardly think it's worth uh, telling her about alien from paralyzed world. She probably can't even see them anyway. Uh, have you prepared? Have you prepared already? Prepared for another egg? No. Today is the last day of the session. Oh. What? A stupid smile sat in my face. There will be bus that evening. We are leaving. Oh. This is like the final episode. Sorry guys, we are leaving. There will be a bus that evening. We are leaving. Holy, holy cow. I was uh, ready for even the most incredible twist, but was this what uh, that mysterious boy here was talking about? Probably it was. Imagine to live only the seven days, like, and introduce yourself to everyone over and over again. You will go crazy. Well, Abilty, I'll have to go for a second lab and live yet another week in this camp. But uh, this time I know everything. I haven't picked up yet, uh, it's not like I have uh, much to pick up anyway. Okay. Goodbye Sylvia. We love you a lot. Sylvia uh, shift her gears. Seemed like uh, she wanted to say something but uh, hesitated. Well, see you then. Yeah. I had to ask when we are leaving at last. I went to the square with the intention of uh, discovering that. There got to be someone I know there. But, believe it or not, there was only Ginda waiting for me at the square. Probably all the pioneers are busy with baking. I took a seat on the bench and just stared at the sky. It turned out that today I just have to wait for the uh, departure. Pass out the boss and wake up in the camp again, just like the first day. Uh, you don't know, maybe something different will happen to you, maybe you are different. Everything was uh, drowning in silence. At exactly the time of a uh, summer day when the sun seems struck in the sky, the bird and the cricket have gone for an after lunch doze. And the wind is saving its energy to uh, deliver long awaited coolness of to people in the evening. It suddenly crossed my mind that it uh, hadn't just uh, missed lunch, but I haven't had any breakfast either. It was ridiculous to search for anything in this city. The pioneer had surely cleaned up everything just before they departed. <clears throat> I scratched my head and made my way to Olga cabin. Surely there should be something eatable in the table drawer? Someone called for me just approached the door. Oh, Electronics, Shrek! Oh, I'll miss you guys. Shrek and Electronics safely approached the cabin. Are you already picking up? Uh, already picking up? I answered meeting him. Uh, you haven't quite been yourself in the last few... Uh, you haven't been quite? Be yourself in the last few days. Oh, what makes you say that? How should I know you know better? I mean, why are you so concerned? No reason. A real pioneer always treats comrade uh, problem as his own. I cast a misbekish look at him. Thanks for your uh, concern, I'm fine. There actually was half a loaf of uh, steel uh, bread and a piece of uh, smoked uh, sausage in the drawer. I eat everything with the reliable uh, pleasure of uh, washing it down with smelly water that Olga the Caragona probably used to water the blade. Just as I finish, someone starts knocking on the door. Come on! Oh! Juliana rushed into the room. Uh, I know everything about you now. You know what? Since this is the last day, uh, goodbye. Ah, just you. What you want? She said disappointingly. And who do you expect to see? A circus uh, complete of bears? <laughs> Juliana giggled. <laughs> Where? Oh my God, it's a uh, I don't know. 
I sh shrugged. Uh, why not? I don't know because I don't know. What do you want from her anyway? Got to ask something before they depart. Okay, I'll tell her what uh, we're searching for her and see her. By the way, why aren't you backing up? Uh, like I have much to back. Well, see ya. She took a sly smile and bounced out of the cabin, slamming the door behind her. And still, it's really strange that nobody seemed to be puzzled by the sudden departure. And why I am the only one who was not expecting it. Like everyone really care if I have picked up my thing up. As well as that, doesn't anyone care uh, that uh, this is the last time we are seeing each other? The word of this guy in the forest yesterday about all this camp didn't he mean a real uh, suddenly severed into my mind. Well, right now I am more ready to believe it than ever. The disc drawer where I found my breaking uh, cab a lot of odd and end. I grab a pencil and piece of paper, examine them and sometime then spill them into my pocket. Just in case, I had no intention of washing over and all the cabin running around and big so I just lie on my bed and didn't even notice how dizzle off. I was somebody voice that wake me up. A familiar pioneer was sitting directly above with the back of me. I got used to him a bit since yesterday and I even seemed that I stopped fearing him. Hey, why do you always hide in your fears? Because you shouldn't see it. If you if you say so, I wasn't in the position to argue. So, what are you going to reveal this time? You already know what is last day of the session, don't you? Yep. And you already spoken with that one. Yep. So, what did he tell you? Nothing special. He said that there are an exit out of here. The pioneer laughed and laughter. Yeah, I believe that two ages ago. And now? And what is now? I have my best, my life back then. He stopped talking for some reason. Anyway, all it was long while ago, so I don't really remember. The future is all the same. Loop, 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 repeat is in the same story. Where is this now? Well, I hate to say it, but I am not yet as lost in time as you are. Oh, that nothing. That'll come with time. He broke into diabolic laughter. Uh, there's just one thing I don't understand. What's your reason for coming to me? What do you expect to achieve? Me? Nothing really. So why did you come then? It's just because you, him, and other like us are the only real people around here. Even everything he said to me already, I just wasn't ready to believe that all the local tension are just a puppet in the same kind of hellish stage blade. <clears throat> yeah, but you may believe that if you think like, you know, if you see the same people do the same thing over and over again, that will play with your mind. Are you sure that uh, you're right? Right about what? Well, that uh, you're right about everything. I can't be right or wrong. I didn't choose this war. I didn't throw myself into it. I just here, and you are just here. Listen, I have already got a headache from you, philosophics. I was kind of puzzled myself with why I was so calm talking to the mysterious pioneer. Well, here it is, right in front of me. All this fantasy and delivery that brought me to this camp. Here it is, uh, an explanation. At last, a, br a brutal one for how I got here. Here they are, the answer I have searched for such a long time. On the other hand, my behavior was quite logical. Well, I couldn't quite explain what was happening. This uh, Coco guy was uh, talking and talking, but it's not like this uh, war changed anything. Then, what's the point of listening to him? Oh, no, 
you will soon understand everything yourself. Okay, somebody was like knocking the door. I got up, I opened it. Sylvia, I know you're behind all this. It was Sylvia on the doorstep. You came to see Olga Dimitri? I stopped for a few seconds, I had something because uh, there was voices outside my room, sorry. So we back. Simeon, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say Simeon. Uh, you come to see Olga de Tervona? No, no. Come in then. I was 100% sure that the pioneer had already disappeared. Turned out I was right. Sylvia took a seat on the bed and I snuggled against the warm portable of the far corner of the room. She was uh, distinctly nervous. Uh, did something happen? Uh, not really. It's just today's the last day. And I want to tell you, I love you. Well, I am already aware, but uh, better late than never. Well, so I thought. I mean, we probably won't see each other ever again. It's a small war, as they say. But, but, maybe you will give me your address to write letters? Oh. I would have if I only know more it myself. Uh, you know, let's do it the other way around. You give me your address, I definitely write you upon arrival. Ah! Oh. But why don't you want to give me yours? Yeah. Well, we were just about to move, so you never know. It's better if I write to you. I try to put it. My own uh, cute smile to make my story look more uh, credible. Okay. Ah, okay. It's fine then. Sylvia got up and seemed to be leaving. Uh, hey, wait. What about your the address? Let's do it later. Huh, I don't trust you anymore. An expression of uh, sorrow and disappointment crossed her face. Ah, why you do this to her? Simeon, you are the worst! I just shut the door and right ahead of the spiritual voice of the pioneer from behind. Well, happy now? You have hurt a girl. What? What have I hurt her with? What should I ever say to her? My dear, write to my dear granny in the village? Or should I have left her the address of house that I probably not even built yet? So what? I am not uh, my brother keeper. It, it is your war, not mine. I'll manage somehow in my own. Uh, that last race really made me squish. You know what? I didn't manage to finish the race. Someone was knocking at the door again. Come in. Oh, Ileana, close to the cabin. Uh, why the rush, my lady? I may be excessive slowly bow. Me uh just her eye dropped about the certain and her cheek were flushed. Just wanted to say goodbye. Uh I didn't uh, use uh, the evil voice. Here there will be time for that anyway, after all, we all all be going the same bus. Yeah, you're right. But it's kind of embarrassing in front of everyone. Oh, so there's something that you can be embarrassed by. Ha ha ha. Yeah, she posted. I just want to tell that you are aren't a douche, really. In fact, you are almost cool guy. Oh, you sweeter from the inside. Her word uh, astonished me. Well, thanks. Uh, you going to hang out with uh, with two? Well, that that. She rushed outside, slamming the door lock. Hey, didn't expect that from her. Uh, did you? I got nothing to do with that, I told you. It really looks like you know what uh, she will say. Maybe I did, maybe not. You just come here to mock me? I said to lose my temper. That idea had also crossed my mind. Uh, then why the hell are you uh, hanging around here? If I ever need a man to commit on all my action, I'll hire a professional psychologist or a lesser player. The supplier can do better than psychologist, believe me. You think that after all this time I don't uh, qualify as one? Mm. No. Just because you have experience doesn't mean you qualify to be a, a doctor. 
My temptation is that after all this time here, you definitely go with banana. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is my establish that uh, after all this time here, you definitely go with banana. All my subjects are freak. Yes, but not. Uh, yes, but not all freak are psychologists. He laughed out loud. A sense of humor. How encouraging. But frankly, you joke are fairly lame. Hey. Who are you laughing at? At yourself? Listen, if you got nothing to do in the own war, go and bug that second one. And have you got anything to do in your? The binary sharply countered. You know, I find out what to do. I pick up my things, leave the camp, and then what? Then what? Like I know. I never uh, been in such a situation before, believe it or not. It's just uh, you forgotten that you won't be able to leave the camp. Yeah, he was right about this matter. Probably, just because you failed to do so, that doesn't mean that I will fail too. You're the boss. So many people knocking the door today. Final episode. There was a knocking at the door. So quiet that I barely hear it. Damn, who else is there? Hiss under my breath and shouted. Come in. But the door didn't open. I walked in and myself. Lena wasn't the first. Oh, Lena, look at this face. What happened to you? What did you say? It looked like I really scared her. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You came to see Olga? No. She said, staring at the ground. So, what is it then? What did Lena want from me? Uh, come in. She came and hesitated in the middle of the room. Wanna take a seat? I wanted uh, on at one of the beds. Lena hesitated a bit more, but uh, never less took a seat. Did something happen? Not at all, it just... She threw a quick glance at me, but to blush at one and look away. Here! Something in the pocket headed to me. Turn up was my phone, but where did you get it from? I found it in the forest, okay, but why did you think it's mine? Somebody told me so. Who? Have you ever seen him before? I don't know, I couldn't see his face, but he was dressed in binary uniform. Everything was clear at once. And don't you wonder what it is? I looked at the screen and there was some battery left, therefore the cell phone shouldn't just looked like a piece of plastic to Lena. I don't know, some kind of game? Huh. Yeah, you're right. I quickly opened Snake in the menu and headed the photo. Huh. Here you go. Uh, keep sick. What are you doing? I can't. Lena waved her hand at me. Take it. I have a lot of uh, this at home. She has just a bit more, but finally she took the advice. And. What do I do with it? Press the key and move left and right. You got to eat this uh, bag and keep from it. Ah, <laughs> oh, they play snake. <laughs> this is quite ending. It's so interesting. She smiled. Thank you, and yet, and yet I have nothing to for you. It's embarrassing. No, thank you for the memories. Time with you was priceless. I don't need anything. Thanks. No. That's not good, she said in a voice that sounded more confident than uh, usual. It's that last day here after all. Yeah. I forgot to do her voice. I hope we meet again. I think uh, we will. Then I have a present for you. And what is this? Close your eyes. Oh, she will kiss us. I did so. And promise that I won't open them until I tell you. Okay. No? No? No! You have to promise. Alright, I promise. The moment I felt the light kiss on my cheek. Oh shit! I was really eager to open my eye, but I promise. Open! The room was empty. What a girl. The only thing I managed to say. So, how does it feel, stud? Oh! Uh, Shut up! I heard the merciless laughter from the place where Lena had just been sitting. Oh, did you kiss me? Ew! So, it was a new way to prank me, huh? 
using the others me right god forbid uh, indeed you got a kiss from sweet girl thanks to me on the check but anyway i really want to beat him up with the moment but i wasn't even sure that he is a physical being in here i assume that this prank wasn't your last one i said calmly who knew who knew isn't it fun the pioneer left hard perhaps uh, uh, Professor Moriarty left it uh, like that, anticipation the success of his development plan. You are certainly having a fun, but I am not. Relax, dude. There almost nothing left. And here you go, you second lap. After you do a dozen, then you'll earn a bit stop. Also, you probably won't need me then. You figure out everything yourself. It's not like I need you right now either. Oh, what a great dude. Just get it out. If you ever... Just shut up already. No under... No understanding. Shut your damn mouth. I search a lot and the wall crumbled. Oh, Alicia. The front door suddenly burst open and Alicia came in. You know what, and we are at the 30 minute mark and I think we will see every girl at that point here. Uh, so, I will just uh, end the video and save. I don't think I will make more video today, uh, even that I want to. So, goodbye and see you next episode.